I have not been doing this in a while, but today we are going to be exploring Hofu. Um, as you can tell, the place is pretty empty. This is my good friend here in Yamaguchi, my local friend, my local Mexican friend, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to put it that way. Uh, she, she grew up over here, so like she knows the stuff. So she's gonna show me around, and uh, yeah, pretty looking forward to it. Nah. 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 Oh, yeah. So these are like local fruits and oranges from Yamaguchi. Also, the plan is actually pretty simple. We're gonna be exploring the city with a bicycle. Now, where do we get bicycles? <laughs> <laughs> how, how are we gonna? <laughs> It's, it's really empty here. It's like almost nobody. It's just a bunch of cars. That's pretty much it. <laughs> this is so sad. This is like Sunday. <laughs> Sunday at 11.30 a.m. And there's nobody here. It's just us. I guess this whole COVID thing really uh, affected the whole tourism situation of Hofu. Although, uh, I don't know. Is this normal for Hofu? I don't. It's normal. Is, is it? Is it? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's not about COVID. <laughs> because hopeful. Because it's hopeful. Oh, look at that thing! Oh, that is so yeah, cool. Right. That's gonna be like the coolest thing ever. All right. So this should help us on how to explore the entire city with a bicycle. What is this thing? Well, I can't read it, so <laughs> maybe <laughs> I see on the other side if they have English. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> so according to Rwanda, this is a community center of Hofu City. It's quite interesting. We are right now in Hofu Station, hoping that uh, we can somehow rent a bicycle around here and start exploring. Oh, look, there is a... <laughs> Hope we see the tourist information. Here we go. The tourist center over here is uh, incredibly helpful. Uh, they even hook us up with a bicycle. Well, we have to pay for it, but it's only like four dollars for pretty much the entire day. Got like a, a very nice Japanese uh, bicycle with a basket in it. Where do we go? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is really good. <laughs> now we can enjoy and explore Hofu with our two wheels right here. What is that? This is boobs massage. <laughs> boobs massage? Not you mean breast? Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. I think my guide is trying to kill me. This place is really sketchy. It doesn't. What the hell? It doesn't look like a tourist spot. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Oh, it's a bar. I know this place. All right, so as off right now, we're not actually going anywhere. We're just kind of like riding around. See kind of sort of how it looks like, how the bicycle actually rides. Uh, feels good. I've never actually ridden anything with a basket before. This is quite an experience, that's for sure. But let's go ask my tourist, uh, my local guide over here. Uh, where are we going? All right, we're going to Hofu Mountain, according to her. All right. We are trying to go to Hofu Ten Mangu Shrine. I think we are in this intersection right here. We're well, waiting for the traffic. So we're gonna be going over there. Stop that thing. <laughs> I think this is the reason why the city is empty. All the people are here. Ooh, that looks beautiful.
he completely ignored you. <laughs> Now we see a lot of people and uh, currently looking for a place to uh, park our two-wheel vehicle right here. They're not, they don't expect us to like climb all that freaking stairs with a bicycle, right? <laughs> okay, walking time. Sun is beating on us but it's a beautiful 19 degrees here so not too bad. My tour guide over here uh, told me to ditch the, uh, the bicycle and start walking instead because that's how you actually uh, get to experience the entire Kofu. It's a town, village. That's my tour guide doesn't want to Never mind. <laughs> We're gonna be coming back and uh, explore the heck of that uh, shrine. Uh, but for now, we're gonna be walking around this a small town or village or whatever this thing is. Soba? Oh, they're close. No, they open. <laughs> you want to try it? All right, I, I am ditching the uh, jacket because it's getting warm. Okay, so we are at the local restaurant called Usagi, uh, which is specializing um soba the ambience in this place is actually pretty good everything is wooden um kind of like a old house style kind of sort of thing um and it seems like they are very busy as well too because uh, we actually had to wait for at least 10 minutes to get a table so okay finally got our food look at that <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to this <laughs> my very first Soba in Mainland Japan. Takemas. Ooh, let's put this over here. Yeah. Cold soba. <laughs> Branken. Oh, that was good. Mm. Mm, this is some kind of fish. Fish. Hmm? Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's good. Alright, I'm gonna dig it now. <laughs> but before that, I'll try this. Mmm. The sauce is good, though. We got out. That was a beautiful, beautiful meal. Uh, it wasn't too heavy, so... I mean, she kind of ate too much, but, you know... <laughs> We're gonna burn all that while riding our bicycle later. basically like inside a butt <laughs> just take it out like this and then uh, there we go so this is my fortune
A little bit lucky, that's how it's going. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit lucky from, from what? <laughs> That place. Yeah. That yeah. was a very, very. Yeah, it's a, it's very traditional. It's uh, very interesting to see actually. It kind of sort of reminds me of being back in Osaka for some reason. All right, now we are heading to the next place, which I absolutely have no idea where, but we're picking up our bicycles and uh, we're gonna be on our way there. How are we gonna take these bikes? 